So when you're drawing in perspective, it's important to understand the differences between one point, two point, and three point perspective. When you're working with one point perspective, you're gonna have a horizon line and one vanishing point. So we'll write that down here, one vanishing point. When you start, you're looking at the face of the cube, like this. So you're starting with a shape. When you complete your cube, you can see there are sets of parallel lines. So this right here is one set of parallel lines. One, two, three. There's a set here. One, two, three. And our other set here converge. So we have two sets of parallel lines. Now if we look at two point, We're still going to start with a, with a horizon line, but for two point, we're going to have two vanishing points. When we begin to draw for two point, when we're doing a cube, we're looking at that leading edge. So we're going to start with not a shape, but a line. And then if we take a look at our sets of parallel lines, we can see there's one set right here. However, this set right here converges, so those are not parallel. And this set right here also converge to that vanishing point. So there's only one set of parallel lines. Now if we look at three point, again, you're gonna start with a horizon line but you're going to have three vanishing points. One, two, and three. For three point, you're going to start just like two point with that leading edge right there. So you'll start with a line. And let's look at the vanishing, or I'm sorry, let's look at the parallel lines. We have these three, those are not parallel. We have these three, those are not parallel. And we have these three, those are not parallel either. So there are zero sets of parallel lines. So those are some basic differences that are important to remember when you're drawing in one point, two point, and three point perspective.